all, everything below there is the financial district. Taiwanese-born Yu Li Niu anxiously awaits the date, November 8. Like Americans everywhere, she'll be voting for president. But along with her neighbors in District 65 in downtown New York, she will also be voting to elect a new state assembly member, herself. New, the Democratic nominee in a heavily Democratic district that includes Chinatown and Wall Street, stands a good chance of winning. Should that happen, the neighborhood notoriously associated with Sheldon Silver, the district's former assemblyman who was sentenced to 12 years in prison for corruption, will send a vital message that transparency and accessibility are the way forward. There are certain folks who had access and certain folks who did not. And I just felt like it was so important for more and more folks to be able to have access to government. It will also signal a change in representation for a socioeconomically diverse district that is 42 percent Asian, but has never known an Asian American to lead them. We are more than 10 percent of the state's population, and yet we have less than um, 0.5 percent of the representation. And I think that that statistic alone should show that it's way overdue, that we should have many, many Asian Americans um, running and winning office. As an immigrant who grew up in the U.S., Yu remembers throwing away her Chinese lunch out of fear that other kids would make fun of her. Today, her platform focuses on the issues facing the neediest in immigrant rights. People lump them all into one group, lump all of us into one group, and, 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 and um, you know, they forget, like, that, hey, you know, we have different needs, different uh, services that need to be provided and um, you know and I think that that's what's so important to make sure that we have those perspectives all at the table. You says she realized growing up that government is available for all its residents if you just know which doors to knock on. As a public servant she says she hopes to provide an open door for her community. Ramon Taylor, VOA News, New York.